what it is. <laughs> I'm Tyrus filling in for Greg, who's off doing something I don't even want to think about. <laughs> he did call, though. He was breaking up in the phone, and all I got out of it was gasoline and Kilmeade's house. <laughs> so, Kilmeade, watch your six. No, wait, it's Greg. Watch your three. <laughs> all night, gut failed. Anyway, Christmas is come and gone, and boy, have we been given some doozies of gifts this year. Worse than fruitcakes, or when I got Dana and Greg that gift card for the big and tall shop. <laughs> they had it coming. They're always getting me small stuff. <laughs> now, when I was a kid and I got a gift I didn't like, well, you just accepted it. And when, was worse than when your mom told you to, you know? Like, you just wore it when she said so. Nothing like socks and underwear wrapped like an awesome toy to make you say your first cuss words under your breath. <laughs> and I don't even know why they didn't wrap them. Nobody else in the house wears a size quadruple X pair of socks but me. <laughs> And then mom would say, I know you didn't ask for it, but Santa knew you needed it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Santa. The following year when I put him in that headlock, <laughs> but I was the bad kid, what did I know? I was five. And it's weird. So he spies on me all year, then he breaks into my house, and it's okay because he brought socks? <laughs> Doesn't this feel right? Well, this year, as a country, we were given a lot of odd gifts. And definitely more than just some fancy-ass wrap socks. From our wonderful administration, <coughs> we got this <laughs> guy. <laughs> Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. Yeah, he was wrapped in a bow. First, openly lying on men and women on the border. And then if that wasn't a giant bag of coal, he also claimed the Biden administration had effectively managed the border crisis. But if that was true, then it wouldn't be a crisis. Let that marinate for a second. <laughs> Meanwhile, he was all about deflecting blame like a goalie in the Stanley Cup finals. But on who? Oh, yeah, the wonderful men and women of our Border Patrol agents. And of course, the racist-ass horses. But hey, they probably came from the polo circuit. <laughs> Always bragging about being related to Seabiscuit. <laughs> and if that wasn't bad enough, these horse supremacists, all their saddlebags said coach. <laughs> and they think non-thoroughbreds should be sent to the glue factory. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> Yeah, they got more heat than Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer did at the Santa Christmas party when they found an open bottle of Jack Daniels next to him and him claiming the red nose isn't from booze. <laughs> so at least my orcas could have done while he was throwing the agents under the bus was just while they're down there, have them check to see if there's any fentanyl tape to the undercarriage. And just when you think there can't be a worse gift than that Ugh, I hate Mallorca. I don't mind telling you. Then you had good old Auntie Kamala showing up, digging in her bag of laughs like there were fries in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> you know, in the fries, you want to, you're going to get that, yeah. <laughs> she laughs for no reason, like she was watching Joe DeVito and Joe Maki's stand-up special. Hey, I did not approve that. <laughs> I did not approve that. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all during the commercial break. Jean, you got a spot coming up. <laughs> but boy, does she sure have the gift of gab. You need to get to go and need to be able to get where you need to go to do the work and get home. When we talk about the children of the community, they are a children of the community. The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. Who doesn't love a yellow school bus? It's part of our, our experience growing up. It's part of, a, you know, a nostalgia and a memory. The school bus takes us there. <laughs> if that made any sense to you, lay off the eggnog. Someone has spiked it with pine saw. 
And don't worry about all the gifts you don't really like this year. We've got good old fashioned crime waves to take care of that. So your new gifts will likely to get stolen at any point. And that's more of a merry middle finger than a happy ho, ho, ho to the American people. Speaking of ho, oh. <laughs> we did get a gift from WWE legend Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Thought I was gonna say something else. <laughs> He showed us tough guys are real as he stopped a home invasion with two things that I love most, his right to bear arms and his wife's right to call the police. His home invader got the best gift of all, not getting his ass beat with a two by four. <laughs> so we don't always get what we want, but sometimes you get gifts, you know, for that spoiled brat, like the two I have on my show. I'm gonna get y'all for that. I'm talking about progressive liberals. All they wanted for Christmas was free speech on their social media. So in comes old Saint Musk buying Twitter. But it's not the free speech we wanted. We wanted the free speech just for us, not everyone else. Thanks, Elon, you're the worst Saint Musk ever. <laughs> I worked hard on that voice, thank you. <laughs> that was my liberal voice. <laughs> you just squeeze your growing as hard as you can and don't <laughs> breathe. And you can sound just like them. <sighs> the only thing worse than that is except when former NWA World Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch forgets to shower. Look at that picture. <laughs> Put on a tie, man. Or someone get him some frankincense. <laughs> Love you, Trevor. Thanks for the belt. And sometimes you get a gift that on the picture of the box looks good. But when you open it up, the instructions are in Chinese and the batteries aren't included. And even when you get the batteries in it, it still doesn't work right. And it makes crazy sounds and turns on and off for no reason and wanders around. Surprised you didn't figure that out a little earlier. But. <laughs> and finally, when it comes to Christmas gifts, there's always one guy who gives you the gift that's not for someone else, but it's really just for himself. Yeah, you all know who I'm talking about. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> so sick of this story in him. But then again, what better Christmas gift than a teacher who wants to eat, drink, and be merry? <laughs> Let's welcome tonight's guest. Her oath said, do no harm, but she can't help killing with kindness. Fox News contributor, Dr. Nicole Sapphire. <laughs> the only thing missing from her sports resume is a beer commercial. Host of Sideline Sanity's podcast, Michelle Tafoya. His punchlines are often the result of him getting punched. <laughs> Writer and comedian Joe DeVito. His laughs are as low as his testosterone. Writer and comedian <laughs> Joe Mackey. Okay, I feel like we're even now. Fair enough, fair enough. You guys enough. got your cheap plug. And... <laughs> okay. Sorry about the testosterone thing. <laughs> you, it's there's it's a okay. doctor right over there. If you <laughs> I'll start with a legend. Ms. Tafoya, oh. should Republicans impeach Mayorkas? Okay. So, yes. Because, I, you know, and I don't love this idea of this stack of investigations that is probably going to happen, but this guy needs to go. He needs to go. He has not done his job well. He has, he, he has as you mentioned, thrown people under the bus. He's barely been to the border. No one from this administration has. So if there is one guy that needs to be impeached, I think this is the guy. I really do. I think it's just, I think this has been the worst part, hard to pick, but of Biden's presidency has been the crisis at the border. And if you're going to point to one person, I think you got to point to Mayorkas. It's not, not so much the fact that he just knowingly told a lie. They knew that the, the riding the horses, they weren't whipping anybody. Right. But that picture pushed their, their agenda so far 
that they were worth more than sacrificing our men and women who protect our borders. And that, to me, I don't see how that's not an impeachable offense. You just, you threw them under the bus, you lied about it, and you never came clean about it, and now nobody trusts you. And you claim to be doing a good job. You know, look, we knew when Biden at that debate said, everyone should surge the border. We are a nation that welcomes asylum seekers and refugees. Surge the border. Well, he did it. Yeah. They just weren't prepared, Tyrus, and they've done a horrific job handling it. All right, Mackie, what's your top story? Well, my top story of, uh, of this year is uh, finally, after 70 years, scientists have uh, gotten net energy from a fusion reaction. And uh, this is not to pat themselves on the back, because if you spend 70 years on one project, <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. Like, you could start your career and retire, <laughs> and nothing's done. <laughs> I think we need to start firing scientists because what have they done with us lately? Like, well, they, they've delayed aging in mice <laughs> and they, they, they got us a COVID vaccine, but they made COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, yeah. and the vaccine sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Safai, the Elon Musk buying Twitter story also includes all the Twitter files and stories and all the dirty laundry that, that happened this year. Do you think that's the biggest story of 2022? You know, I think it's going to be a big story of 2023. I think the biggest story of 2022 is the fact that you've had President Biden and Tony Fauci continuing to perpetuate perpetuate the state of panic that has kept us all in for the last year when the COVID emergency has been over. 2023, it's going to be a big deal. Listen, you have Dr. Fauci, who spent three decades in his role as the director at the NIH, kind of like our top ID doc of the country, failed miserably throughout the COVID pandemic. I'm like, he had one job. Like, this was his moment. He was ready to knock it out of the park, and he got it wrong every step of the way. All he had to do was say, hey, you know what? There's a lot of things that I don't know at the beginning of it, but he didn't. He's like, hey, here's my opinion, and that's a fact. Yep. And his facts actually turned out to be wrong. But the big story is going to be the fact that anybody who didn't agree with his facts were censored, and that's what's going to come out of 2023. What about, you know, all the doctors that were attacked for just actually following the set, yourself, Dr. Drew, just to name a few, where would you think there'll ever be an apology or some <laughs> form of, of I'm saying, like, yeah, I know, that's crazy, right? Oh, I'm sorry, we ruined your career, besmirched <laughs> yeah. your name. You know what, I had, there was a couple of hit pieces about me earlier on during the pandemic, and I have noticed throughout the course of the pandemic, they have gone off of the internet because they have taken away those articles. Did they issue an apology? Absolutely not. But at least they came off the internet because they were wrong, and I'm sorry, it wasn't, in the beginning, I wasn't saying, hey, I'm right, but I was questioning what was happening, and that's what you should do as a scientist. Yeah, we take a long time. Sometimes I get it. We really do. We draw things out. <laughs> but at the end of the day, to say I don't know, and maybe I got this wrong, and I'm evolving with more data. That's how we should have handled it. And unfortunately, you know, that didn't happen. Speaking of evolving, Joe, um, <laughs> what would you put your button on as a story of the year? Oh, I'd say this year was the year of the woman. Yeah, <laughs> whether it was uh, Brittany Griner trying to smuggle weed into Russia or uh, <laughs> Kayla the Mew getting her boobs stuck in a bandsaw. <laughs> I think we learned that women can be just as stupid as men. <laughs> And you know what the best part is? Anyone can be a woman now. It's, you can get in on it. You know, I think back to when my gym teacher told me I threw like a girl. I didn't realize he was empowering me. <laughs> yes, because now you can compete in women's sports. All right, there we go. Just like Leah Thomas, you. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.